Alright lads, welcome back to another video. This is obviously continuing on from earlier on when I did the video about Alan Johnson leaving Dunfermline Athletic and who I think should take over from him now. Of course he's now departed the club. If you've not seen earlier on my video about his departure then go and find it on my channel. It'll also be linked at the end of this video so if you want to watch this video and then watch the Alan Johnson video then it'll be linked in the description of this video, it will be linked at the end of the video and you can just go on my channel and find it very easily so if you want to go and see that then do so and then you can maybe come back to this video if you choose to watch that one before this one but of course he's now departed from Firmin Athletic Football Club and for all that we need to look back and remember the good times with Alan Johnson because there was many we do need to look towards the future and there isn't an immediate kind of feeling from the club on what their kind of stance is Obviously in the immediate future though, it's going to be Stevie Crawford taking over for the game at Tannadice this weekend. But in the next six months, will it be him until the end of the season and then we look in the summer? Or are we going to look to appoint someone in the next few months to weeks or whatever? My opinion would be that we wait until the summer because there is a lot more options in the summer. That's just plain and simple. That's just how football works really because a lot of contracts run out in the summer you've got more time, you've just got more scope to be able to look for managers, there's managers that are more available in the summer and stuff like that, so I think we should wait until then, and if Stevie Crawford's willing to wait around until the summer and do a job until then, whether he leaves to go to Dundee United after that is another situation, or whether he gets the permanent gig, I don't think that would be my personal choice, but it's obviously an option that would be on the table if he took over, but my choices would be between Jim Goodwin, Stuart Petrie and there probably will be some other candidates out there that are kind of realistic for us and that we could realistically look at but I really like the look of Jim Goodwin and Stuart Petrie Jim Goodwin has obviously done a fabulous job at Alloa it does look highly unlikely because he did turn down a job at St Mirren really or at least an interview with him because he was very keen on the job that he had at Alloa in the summer will that be a different picture? I know a lot of Alawa fans and I know that one Alawa fan in particular said that he wouldn't have much respect left for our club if we took good one from them and that's just a natural feeling for football fans that you don't want your manager going anywhere especially when he's doing such a good job that Jim Goodwin has done with Alawa so far and for it being his first managerial gig he's doing a fantastic job and the results he's got so far this season not even just against us, against Dundee United and a vast majority of the teams in this league. I believe that Alawa have actually, you know, beaten more teams that you wouldn't expect them to and we didn't really tend to do that this season and the fact that Jim Goodman was able to get that out of his squad which you would assume looking at on paper and also just in general that we should have a better squad than Alawa. So Jim Goodwin is getting much more out of his squad than Alan Johnson was getting out of his squad at Dunfermline. So that's why I'd like Jim Goodwin as manager, simply down to the fact that, you know, he's done a fantastic job and that he gets these teams working hard. He does the right things as a manager, he knows how to change games, he brings on substitutes and they do end up having an impact on the game. We saw that on Saturday where he was making changes, bringing on attacker after attacker and we didn't make any changes that we wouldn't have made outside of that injury to James Craig and we were brought on Ryan Williamson. I thought that might have actually been a tactical substitution but it ended up being that Alan Johnson just brought him on because James Craig had asked to come off. Jim Goodman was bringing on, as I said, attacker after attacker and he ended up getting his just rewards for it by getting another point East End Park and frustrating us. Moving on to the other option that I considered there, Stuart Petrie. And the fact that we're going to Dundee United away this weekend really speaks volumes of um, Stuart Petrie as a player. It's what he's remembered for, largely at Dunfermline Athletic Football Club. He was a fantastic player for us. He really is a club legend, I would think anyway. And he's just that type of player. He would connect with the fans straight away, there'd be no doubt about that. And it's the complete opposite of how you would feel about Alan Johnson being your manager and of course even Jim Goodwin but Jim Goodwin would bring a different thing completely Stuart Petrie would bring the fans on his side there'd be chance for him there'd be just a whole new sense of optimism because we'd be going for a manager that yes has been untested at our level but he's proved it with Montrose that he's taken them from pretty much near the bottom of League 2-ish to now mid-table League 1 
and he's getting the best out of our squad, just like Jim Goodwin has, he gets the best out of the squad that he's got at his disposal, and whilst he's not doing an our broth and getting them promoted, he's doing a very good job for what, for what you would expect him to do. And I just feel that Stuart Petrie is the one that, you know, would tug at the heartstrings of the Dunfermline fans because it's just a perfect fit, really. The fact that he's a manager, he's done really well, and he would just bring that whole sense of optimism towards the club and it would get the fans back on side. The one thing that I feel like needs fixing is that sort of thing that we've lost in recent months with the fans kind of feeling a bit dejected by everything that's happening at the club, the apathy towards not just the team, but the club in general. Of course, there's still regular volunteers that volunteer at the club, and we all do still go and support the club, but there's no doubt in that even if you are a volunteer at the club watching this video, or you're a person that regularly goes to games, I regularly go to games, but there is a sense of apathy with what's been happening on the pitch and bringing that towards positivity for the club because everything that the club has been posting on social media and stuff like that recently has had negative reactions from fans on social media of course and the only things that seem to be saying is Alan Johnson out, get that clown out of our club and stuff like that so bringing a manager like Stuart Petrie in would immediately bring back the positive vibes within the fans and whilst as I said he's not tried and tested at this level which is what Jim Goodwin has over him he's probably a more likely replacement than Jim Goodwin would be considering what I said with Jim Goodwin having turned down the St Mirren job or at least the interview for it previously Stuart Petrie would have the kind of connection with the club of his own back he would obviously really probably consider it considering it's a full time position and the club that it is. I think, as I said, it would have to come in the summer. It can't really happen now because I wouldn't personally want to deal, derail Montrose's season anyway. And um, I feel like this season has kind of been not written off so far. We are still four points off the playoffs, but the way it's went, I don't think it would be the worst case scenario that if we were still to finish about mid-table-ish and then rebuild next season under a new manager, which is likely to happen now, no matter who it is. Out of those two then, my choice would probably be Stuart Petrie, just because I do feel like the connection with the fans is the thing that we need to get back, and of course we'd have love for Jim Goodwin if he was fantastic for us, but the same sort of feeling with Montrose, I don't think I really want to kind of ruin it for Alawa either. Um, I think Stuart Petrie is a perfect fit for us. I don't think that he would be naive at this level, I think he would adapt to this level very well and with the connection that he's got with the club I just feel like it would be the perfect fit for all parties concerned for the fans, for the club and for him himself. So there's me had my say, I would go with Stuart Petrie and I've explained my reasons but I want you to explain yours now. So leave your comments down below who you would have as your new manager wherever that may be. Explain that as well. Would you rather bring in a manager before the end of this season or would you bring them in in the summer? And aye, that's it for this video. So if you did enjoy it please give it a like. Comment down below. As I said, what would you do? Who would you bring in next and when would you bring them in? And subscribe for more of this type of content as we head towards 800 subscribers. But until the next video, which will be a video looking towards that Tanner Ace game on Saturday, we can a, a fresh look towards it for once. I'll see you then. Cheers, guys.